hello friends welcome to VFX pipeline channel in this video I will show you how you can integrate PyCham IDE and Maya together okay so let's start so here I have Maya and I'm using Maya 2018 for this video but you can follow the instructions for any Maya versions no issue so if you want to write a Python code inside Maya what you have to do is you can go to a script editor and there you can create a new Python tab and start coding here and after that once you write your code you execute from this button the play button here and then Maya will execute that code and uh, with that actually you can easily create your Maya scripts or maybe your any tool whatever okay so let's just create one very small uh, snippet here which is uh, import maya.cmds as cmds so we are going to import the maya commands at commands and then we create one maybe spear okay cmds dot poly spear all right so let's just select this and execute and then what will happen is it will create a spear there perfect so far it's working fine but now this video is all about how we can connect with uh, PyCharm okay so let's just go and dive inside PyCharm so here I have PyCharm installed already and uh, right now I'm using PyCharm latest version which is uh, I think 2019 and you can and right now I'm using the professional version uh, but you can use this same tricks for uh, community edition also so no issue and so let's just create a new Python file which is something like demo 02 okay and let's clear this so right now I have this one Python file here uh, demo to Python file here and let's just small this window here and close this script writer because our goal is to create a polysphere here and then it will appear inside Maya so maybe let's just uh, take this copy and paste it here okay and then if I execute here you see here there is a my 2018 visible here if I execute and it will create so you might wondering how they are they are connecting together now I will op show you the exact process that with that if you follow you can also uh, connect Maya and PyCharm together let me just go with my demo to file where actually I created uh, two method which is one is maya.cmds and another is uh, maya core.pm so that is actually pymail uh, pymail method to actually create a polysphere so if I execute that so with that it's creating two sphere one is from cmds so this is the sphere and another is pm sphere okay so without wasting a lot of time let's just jump inside what you have to do first install PyCharm IDE then go to settings file settings and here in settings you go to plugins and once you go to plugins there is a column for search so just go there and start typing Maya charm so once you get the Maya charm you can install that right now I already installed so that's why there is a check here already so if you don't then you can install that once you install that you need to restart your IDE and uh, after that you will see inside other settings there is a column called uh, there is a menu called Maya Charm okay then you go inside Maya Charm uh, there might be uh, some issue which is uh, actually you will not see this by default for that make sure you have Maya in your environment so I will show you how you can add inside environment you can go to system and go to advanced system settings and then uh, environment variable and in that environment variable if you go inside paths 
so make sure you have Maya in there no, not here let's see if it is system path so maybe here uh, edit all right so here we have Maya in our system path so with that uh, once you restart after the, after the settings you will automatically uh, our, your PyCharm will automatically detect the Maya one and also to check that make sure you can uh, start run and if you type Maya here and if you hit execute make sure Maya should start if Maya start that means your settings are correct then there is no issue with the uh, PyCharm to connect with your Maya then next thing wait uh, let me just close this first okay okay let me just close this advanced settings also no need okay so now the next thing what you see here is actually uh, here it's looking for a port number which is 4434 now to simplify that you actually need to create a user setup dot melt which is if you click here in edit you see the snippet here which is my uh, you can just create a user setup dot uh, py and put it inside your script folder so and you need to add this snippet which is import maya.cmds as cmds and then use a command port 4434 query true and that this is this is the this is the thing that you need to copy so in my case i will show you where i created that so documents maya scripts user setup.py and let me just open with idle all right so here is the code here and once you create this user setup.py then you just restart your ide last time and after that you will not see any connectivity issue now let's jump into this part like how you can run that so by default you will not see this my 2018 here you have to go inside edit configuration and you need to create a new one so let me create a new config for you so let's go here create new and once you go add new you will see Maya charm here so once you click on Maya charm so this is right now unknown so I can just say uh, VFX pipeline demo okay so this is for my pipeline demo and basically you can use it for uh, a more genuine name for example this one i created for maya 2018 and if let's say you have uh, maya 2017 or maya 2019 different different versions installed in your system so you can actually make the name more reasonable let me just create like this maya 2019 for example so this is script will run for maya 2019 and so then you need to provide the SDK path like from which SDK your file will going to be execute so right now I have only one Maya install in my system so that's why it's showing one so but now we need to provide a execute execute file so if I go here you see here I, I provided a execute file here which is my demo one and you can provide your whatever current file here then let's say i provide here the same file and after that i think there is nothing that's it so hit apply okay so now if you go here you see there is uh, two options here one is my 19 my 18 since our execute file and the sdk is same so there will be no no difference here so if i go execute that and you can say we having the two spears already created inside our Maya so that is very simple and very easy convenient if you're working on really big projects that time this IDE really helpful because Maya script editor is very limited uh, and uh, here you can actually take advantage of all the tools of uh, PyCharm IDE so that's why it's very good and if you want to explore more about this PyCharm IDE, I created a full video for this and you can check out in my YouTube channel and I will provide the link also there. So this is PyCharm best IDE, Python IDE video tutorial that I already created in detail. So you will get more understanding there. 
and if you want to know more about the Maya commands you can follow the Autodesk Maya official help documentation so all these commands which is I'm typing here like PM polysphere and command spare you can actually go to Autodesk Maya go to technical documentation and here you can find the Python command and PyML references so that's it this is it for this video I hope you can use PyCharm and Maya together and create some awesome tools all right guys so thank you very much please subscribe to this video hit like and share with your friends all right thank you goodbye